Yo, what is up, you guys? It is your boy Largo Vlogs here, and today, so I got two Christmas parties happening. On Friday, we finna have a Christmas party in my English class, and on next Tuesday, we have a party at my McDonald's. So, for my English class, we're mixing together three cookie doughs. This one, this one, and this one. So, we're doing one third of the dough for my English class and then two thirds for McDonald's. When we're ready to do the McDonald's one, it's gonna go sicko mode and it's gonna go crazy. But, you know, I'm recording this. Just, I got home from work a little while ago, you know, just a typical night at McDonald's. So, let's get started. Shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna grab a bowl. All right, so I've got a bowl here. So we're just gonna open up the doughs. And I'm gonna open it up this way. So we got like three different cookies, it's gonna be great. Hold up. I'm gonna use the kitchen scissors, get them open. All right, so basically we have 12 pieces. We're gonna use four. These are sugar cookies, but we're gonna mix them in with the other ones. So you got three, four. So check it out, this is what our bowl looks like right now. And then we have, we're gonna just set these in here for, so I think that I'm gonna finish this up on Monday. It's on Monday, that is when Sicko mode will happen. I'll like add M and M's. Might add Oreos. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll just see how well this goes with my English class and how well they like it. But like, I mean, it's like the first time for like a party. I'm actually putting some effort into something. I ain't gonna lie. I tell you, for a lot of things at Gingerbread House, though, I mean, we really, I didn't really go all out for that. I mean, we didn't really buy anything crazy but I mean Jesse did a really good job on our house I mean I gotta say like what we did I mean Jesse really did something cool so we got now we got the peanut butter ones now of course we're gonna just set those back in there Got our Nestle Toll Houses. The classic chocolate chip. Okay, now, you know, we just take this like side thing and you got a third. So I was gonna do the right side, but we got the left, so it's okay. Just gonna split them up in our little pieces. Now, what we're gonna do is you don't really need a mixer, I'm just gonna mix it with my hands, you know, just like. We're gonna put this in. We're gonna just mix it up a little. You know what I'm saying? Just mix it up. All right. So put the cookie doughs back. And there, there. Trash these, and we're gonna mix it together, and it's gonna be so amazing. Just watch. See, so I'm just gonna. Do y'all even see it? But okay, so y'all see it. So we're just gonna like mix it in together. Just like use your hands, just like, mm. it's like get it all in there. Just like, whoa, it's like a giant cookie. It's gonna be delicious. I mean, you can use a mixer if you want, but you don't really need a mixer. It's just like this big ball. It's like, whoa. <laughs> I tell you, it's quite something. But I do have my oven preheated. So now it's like in like a ball shape. Yeah, we got, this is what it looked like. <laughs> Check it out. Definitely gonna be some sicko mode cookies for show. Sure. It's gonna be great. All right, just set that there for now. Mm. Yeah. 
I honestly cannot wait to see how good they taste. Alright, so I'm gonna wash my hands. And then, so I'm gonna be right back with the, um, part where I put them on the, um, tray. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Fun part is making the cookies themselves. So of course, you know, you gotta take it from the big one. We're gonna get a spoon out. Make it a little easier for us. Just gonna go ahead, just, you know, stick it on there, just like. It's a little big for one cookie though. I think we could like split this into like two or something like that. Okay, that, that's one. This is gonna be... It feels a little, like, gooey, but it's what it is, you know? It, it ain't what it is. I mean, I might need to, like, have to do, like, two batches, and you never know. Because it seems like quite a bit. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Getting that chocolate chip side. You know, getting, getting it all in there. Just like, you miss it all in together. Just like. It's crazy though. I mean, it's definitely something I've always wanted to do. Something just special. Because, you know, when you buy your own groceries, it's the kind of stuff you can do, you know? Just like live the dream, buy your own cookies, you know? So I would say that 12 cookies, I mean, I wish everybody could try it, but I mean, if there's gonna be a lot of different foods there, I mean, 12 cookies should cut it. Yeah, that's what I would think, 12 cookies should cut it. But I mean, we might have to like, have people like share some cookies though. Like, that's what we might do, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so we're going to put these in the oven, 350 degrees, 14 minutes. Uh, and I'll show you how they turn out. So they just came out of the oven, and this is how they turned out. Look pretty good, I gotta say. You know, you see, like, all three cookies and all of them, you know, it's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm about to shower, but I'm going to try all of them. Out. Well, actually... So I'm going to try, like, one of them. And then, um, so I'm gonna try one of them. Then, you know, I'm gonna get the, the rest of them bagged for you guys. <sighs> so I've got two challenges. First challenge is getting through the next couple of days without going in there and eating all the cookies. Second challenge is just getting them there. Anyways, Laura Vars, I'll see you guys next time.